Hi guys, it's Sweet Tooth 967 bringing you another product description. Today we're looking at Russell Hobbs' classic travel kettle. Anyway, guys, how are you? How are you guys doing? You okay? Thanks for coming along to my channel. I really appreciate it. Uh, comment, like, just leave a comment and subscribe in the, in that one and subscribe in that one. You know what to do. Thanks, guys. All right. So, what's not much? Uh, this is a um, Twitch designed. It's got a three year guarantee. All right, comes with a bit of bump in the box. It says, never operate the kettle without when it's empty. Damage is beyond repair. Well, we all know that. But anyway, I'm gonna open it up. First thing that's in the box, it's just a cable, and a plug, and I open it. I'm going to split that open. There we go. So, alright. So that's the uh, kettle itself. There's the plug. And then the beauty of it, you open that up and you've got two little cups. One, two. Take the plastic out. And what we're going to do is we're going to put this on, fold it up. Okay guys, so I've uh, filled this up half full. There's a little, on the uh, top of the uh, cattle, there's a little uh, push button. And you can see the little red dash. The only thing I would say is the cord itself is very long. So you've got to bear that in mind. It's got to be near a plug socket. And then the other one on the top, that knocks it off, as you can see. So it's simply on and off. All right, and the gauge is there. Let that boil. They will say, don't watch your kettle boil or something like that. A boil, <laughs> kettle boil never, watch your kettle never boils. Anyway, look. Uh, <laughs> right, okay. It's um, dimensions are seven inches high. And width wise, it's about five. All right, so it's really small. But the cups themselves are only dinky. About three and a half by three there. Well, that's good. I'll show you like an average cow. That's an average cow. So if you look at the difference uh, in size, why well, this? I've took one of those away on holiday, and you can see that um, that's the difference. It's a lot bigger. That one there, so yeah, where an average kettle is. Nearly ten nine, whereas that is seven, and that runs at um, not quite a thousand watt. That runs at two thousand watt. So there's a lot less drainage, and these are ideal for caravans uh, as well. So anywhere where you don't have to put too much uh, strain on the power source. So we're gonna let that boil up. What I meant to say is that it also comes with a washable filter as well, so it's happy to know. I like the fact that it's got uh, a three year guarantee on it, which is somewhere on the back. Uh, I don't know. There you go, three year guarantee. Today we're using Yorkshire tea. And we're using uh, cowbell uh, fresh milk, and this can be gained from Aldi stores. Right. So the boil town is about the same as a normal kettle. There's no difference in that. About the same speed. Okay. You see the light that should just go off. You see it boiling there. Let's see if it clicks off. I don't know if it does click off. Find out. I'm not sure. Did it? Yeah, it does. <laughs> For a minute there, I didn't think it clicked off anyway. Um, so, as I say, you've got to bear in mind that short uh, cable on that. I hope this video isn't too long. I'm trying to keep my videos as uh, short as possible. 
These spoons themselves are quite uh, reasonably strong. Although I would advise if you're going on holiday, get a separate proper spoon like this. These are like, they're not really designed for uh, squeezing out tea bags. So that's it. And I would say that uh, that's a good size cup for one person. So yeah, there you go guys. Thanks very much for watching. So that's the Russell Hobbs Classic Travel Kettle. Um, hope that helped you out. I'm off for a nice cup of tea and we'll see you next one. Bye for now.